the Orlando meeting on ALS research um, uh, last December was really successful both in quantity and uh, quality. I think that the number of uh, attendees was really uh, remarkable and it shows how much um, interest there is in ALS research, both from the academic and industrial uh, point of view, but also from a qualitative point of view, it was uh, very good. The quality of the presentations was, I think, excellent. And there were a couple of, um, of elements that really represent breakthroughs, uh, I think, in terms of understanding the biology of ALS. And one, one of the, 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 the elements that, that uh, will remain is that there is increasing um, interest in finding out the genetic background of both familial and sporadic ALS because it, it becomes more and more clear that what we learn about the familial form of the disease might have immediate bearing on our understanding of the sporadic form. And um, some of the elements that were, or some of the, the new findings relate to genes uh, identified in even a small number of, uh, of families with ALS, but the findings there are of immediate interest to sporadic ALS, both in terms of understanding why motor neurons degenerate and maybe also in terms of identifying uh, points of interference with it. The Congress, I, I follow mostly the part of the preclinical study, of course, because I was very interested for the work I'm doing. Uh, and uh, there was a lot of new things coming out, especially because there were new genes that have been discovered and so new mechanism. And uh, so I, I got a lot of information that uh, helped for my future research on that. So what I would like to highlight from this meeting uh, is the role of these uh, new genes that are related uh, to the RNA processing in the ALS, so it's a new mechanism that was not considered until uh, these genes were, uh, were discovered. So I think that a lot of uh, uh, new data will come out in the near future that will help uh, to understand much more about the disease. This Congress is the World Congress and it's always interesting to be present. You have to be present. Uh, for me, the highlight this year was um, we always find new genes and we never know what is important for the patient. Uh, it looked as if a new gene, which we found one year ago, optineurin, has implications mm -hmm. for therapeutic uh, attempts in the future. And therefore, I was really interested to uh, hear our Japanese colleagues who reported on this new gene. The uh, Congress on, in Orlando, what's nice about it is that it involves uh, new developments uh, and, and presentations of projects in on, on basic science but also in, in care and um, so it attracts a lot of different uh, people that's nice about be about that meeting and uh, I think a, a major uh, new uh, way to study ALS is the uh, induced pluripotent stem cell um, uh, model which enables human uh, tissue to to have human tissue from patients in in the cell culture uh, system to and to study disease and to uh, identify new drugs uh, for this uh, for, for for ALS I think that's one of the major highlights of that that uh, meeting but there are also good highlights in more in, in care and clinical uh, research which is also important and another one is a presentation by uh, an Italian uh, uh, group by uh, Adriano Chio on, on different um, uh, phenotypes. It's still a question whether ALS is one disease or maybe a, a, a syndrome of, of many different motor neuron diseases. And uh, what he did is he tried to identify um, uh, in within that spectrum of phenotypes certain specific phenotypes that have a different um, uh, sex ratio between females and males and also a, a different age at onset. So that, that could also be important.